right. So I got something super cool here, something super big. If you watch the hone video on the hone that I just bought that's not here yet, that they're building, and uh, that we demoed there at, and I showed the tech on how it all works, make sure you go see it because this is part of the deal. Uh, check this thing out. So it just came in the door. It is uh, uh, all wrapped up. I'm gonna show you what this thing is as we're just unwrapping it. And uh, this is the other part of the super coolness of the added part of the hone. So this is the first part. Uh, this is pretty neat. So I'm gonna start unwrapping this thing. Uh, Alex wants me to give him all the, uh, Alex that works for me here, wants me to give him all of the tin foil that this thing's wrapped in because he's gonna start building tin foil hats. So just FYI. And I can say that because Alex doesn't watch the YouTube videos, so he'll never know that I'm just uh, <laughs> throwing him under the bus. See the back here? And I was going to go over and show you how this machine all works at the show, but it's like, well, heck, the thing's going to be here uh, this week. I'll just do it when it all gets here. Now, uh, this is a Rottler, another piece of from Rottler. And uh, so they're sending their guy over to train and go over this whole package. But here in one second, after I get the dog crap out of the way, we got to try keeping the dog from eating this. on it somewhere. Here, take a, this will make, make a good still. Too. Oh, I don't know how they get, they must, they must seal this up somewhere. As you can see, dog is thoroughly enjoying the large package or large uh, pile of packing stuff. And uh, this is the brand new Rottler F69A. So this is block machine. Now this is not a block machine for building billet blocks. This is a block machine for machining any blocks, billet blocks or uh, cast blocks doing boring you know doing all the final machine work uh not not machining from billet probably could but not machining from billet blank but actually um doing all the boring align boring which is really cool 
decking, lifter bushing, O-ring, receiver groove would be a putting in there. Um, block, I think the uh, block clearancing for stroke. Um, some really neat stuff. Now one, and cylinder head work too, as far as, you know, milling cylinder heads, if I want to mill cylinder heads with it. Um, should have the, that fixture should be in here too somewhere. Um, you can see all the packages, parts, all the stuff that's along with this thing. So everything that's there, all those boxes, and uh, pretty big Billy Bad Boy dude right here. Four access, so block goes in there, whirls around, uh, like I said, bores, decks, uh, receiver groove, O-ring, lifters, uh, lifter bushings, a line bore, cam bore, so we'll do cam tunnels too. And the cam or the uh, line bore feature is really cool because it has a 90 degree fixture, so the tool sticks out this way, like this way, and so drops down, goes, comes out, goes over the next bore, comes out, comes over, does the next bore, and what it's doing there is everything is perfectly in line. So it's going to be really interesting because I still have my old machine over there with the line hone. Let me go over there and show you real quick. So there's the back of the centroid. And so I still have the align hone here. This is the line hone attachment. So I'm actually going to take a align hone, freshly align hone block and then put it up in the line boring machine of that. Um, I'll show you everything here. Uh, this is this is the old machine. This is a uh, Mitch M2 is working on the uh, uh, my smaller machine. Now, this is a TNS machine. It's a good machine. I like the machine. I've had the machine for a few years. It was just time to upgrade into the next bigger unit that I could be a little bit faster, uh, have some more accessibility to work on things with, and uh, as far as the line bore, uh, cam tunnel. And you can physically see this is a pretty much a quite a bit larger machine. The uh, you can see how big the whole head unit is on it, and the turn or the uh, fourth axis is really large compared to you know here's my here's my hand as reference. You can go over here, look at the fourth axis on this machine. Basically, it's just a bigger uh, upgraded machine. Uh, this is a great machine. It was great great machine for the here you can see this turntable that's the fourth axis here uh, good machine uh, just needed to go to the next thing so anyways great place to start over there we're going to continue to get this thing unwrapped I'll uh, get it set on the floor and then there are so many freaking boxes so many things here uh, obviously I am going to wait until uh uh, Marty from Rattler shows up to do the whole setup, installation, and uh, training. So we're going to set these things on the floor. I'm still going to have my old machine uh, working there, and uh, we're just going to put them back to back and have it uh, running right there. So I'm, uh, again, super excited. I'm going to continue to show you all the stuff about this machine and how all the time I am always hunting and always striving to make the shop better. Do more work do better work uh, i invest everything back into the company and uh this is one more step in investing back into the company so i got this machine we got the hone coming uh we got uh, the big centroid of course uh, so i mean we got a lot of stuff here but uh this is the latest and greatest and uh this is going to increase our productivity uh and time spent on jobs for sure
All right, so after all the dinking around here, we have uh, both machines set. You can see the, uh, the original machine. So we're gonna set this up uh, so we can finish using it uh, tomorrow until they have this one all set up. And uh, then we'll be able to demo it and do all that other stuff. Problem is, is it's partially sitting where my car normally sits. So I gotta move all this junk around and see if I can get this thing to uh, fit my, gotta fit my car over there because that is not where the freaking car goes. Um, gotta put it over there. And you can see here. Now this machine is, well, no, this machine isn't all the way up. Um, like I said, it's a decent machine. It's just, uh, this other one has, is the twice as expensive, honestly. Uh, bigger machine, more, more things to do. Take a look at it. So we will get this thing uh, leveled up, put the pads underneath it, level everything, and uh, start rocking on this thing. And I'll show you that whole deal as we are putting it all together. Now, you can see, I got the machine set, leveled on its pads. And uh, it's been just a little bit here. It's been actually a couple weeks, uh, but we're still waiting for everything to get here. Managed to get the car squeezed over there making sure that Mitch is not throwing chips on my car as he's putting that in there. We're still waiting for uh, Marty from uh, Rottler to get here. Um, we got the machine just after the PRI show and uh, he's gonna be here next week. So this is the, what, the day or two? This is, I don't know, this is Wednesday after Christmas. Uh, as you can see, I is shiny. <laughs> stuff love love shiny if you know anything about me you can see everything that you have and do uh, I am fanatical about keeping the equipment clean keeping it nice keeping it good uh, I run my truck through the car wash usually two to three times a week if uh, if I remember to do I run it through every day because I keep stuff nice I am not I do not buy into the philosophy of get a machine use it up and throw the pos away after it's all wore out and a piece of crap i will keep a machine nice and keep things going forever um, until it's time to sell it um, but so i'm fanatical i this i love this ground shiny t table um i'm gonna be fanatical about people not chipping or scratching my freaking table so uh it is all leveled it is ready for uh, Marty to come in and uh, do training next week. And after we get this thing trained, you can you can see how big this is because the other machine's actually behind it. You know, kind of look up above. And this machine, the head's all the way down, uh, so it goes up significantly higher. Probably has must be that's probably uh, let's see that's probably eight feet high right now. So. It's, it probably goes up pretty close to 36 inches. So it's got to go up at least 11 foot. Uh, there's the old machine back there. Um, much more range of motion, larger table, larger machine, faster, a lot more automation and line bore. Uh, just fantastic. So uh, pumped up to get that. Still waiting for the hone to get here. Oh, here's all those boxes of everything. Uh, I'm not even opening this crap up because I don't want to lose anything or say that, you know, something didn't get here. So uh, they can open everything up, put the rest of the stuff together, put all the way, you know, bolt their things together and all that kind of happy crud. But uh, very pumped up, excited for sure. Keep posted on all this stuff. I am Steve Morris. That is Supervisor Dewey. Hey, Dewey. Right on. Have a good day.